Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to How Inez Rolls. Today, I am making some yummy cookies, and they're called crinkle cookies. Let's get started. Today's video is going to be the first of five that I'm going to be putting out every single day for the Christmas season. I'm going to be making cookies all week and I'm going to be showing you how I do it. Plus, I'm going to be showing you some really great uh, Christmas activities that we're gonna be doing or some traditions. So that way you hopefully can either be inspired or just know what we're doing. So like I said, today we are doing um, crinkle cookies. These are also called like volcano cookies. And um, I had a recipe that is totally easy, just made, you can make these cookies from Devil's Food Cake Mix. I mean, how easy is that? I am gonna make them from scratch and it is, it seems just as easy. So let me get started. I'm going to be doubling the recipe so that I can put some of the dough into the freezer and have some for, for my family today and then some for later. For this recipe, you'll need eggs, some um, powdered sugar, some salt, baking powder, vanilla, vegetable oil, sugar, and cocoa, and we can't forget flour. So I'm sifting right now some um, unsweetened cocoa. And the reason I am is because I've had it in a mason jar in my in my pantry. So I'm just making sure there aren't any clumps. It doesn't say you need to do that in the recipe, but um, I'm just gonna do that as a precaution. We don't want unsweetened, unflavored clumps, do we? <laughs> so this is gonna be ready to go. And then I used the rest that I had and then I had some brand new ones. So I didn't really have to do that one, I don't think. But we are doubling this recipe for, so this recipe only needs one cup of this cocoa in the, in the, um, in a bowl. You can see right now I'm starting to get to the end. And it's so you only need one cup of the cocoa and two cups of sugar. And then we're going to kind of mix that in together with some oil. I'm going to get my mixer here in a minute, but I just want to kind of get some prepping first. This is an awful lot of sugar, you guys. But I'll make them kind of smaller, the balls. So this recipe comes to me. I got it from um, Little Luna, Kristen at Little Luna. If you're not following her on Instagram, she has amazing recipes. So I've used her recipes in some of my videos in the past, just kind of what we're doing as a family. Um, and so you may want to check her out on Instagram. Okay, time for the oil. So you'll need... A, a half a cup of oil and we're going to be using an a lot of eggs <laughs> normally egg mixture recipes only need one or two eggs this is four <laughs> so get your eggs ready friends so like I said this recipe is going to need four eggs and so you're gonna break one at a time mix break one at a time and mix some more so because I have eight then to do, I'm gonna just do them two at a time. <laughs> Seems like it makes a, it's a good idea. So I'll bring you closer. So I changed my mind. So what we're gonna do right now is, um, I'm gonna make them all. I'm gonna do them all tonight. Ooh, I hope I have enough time because I have somewhere to be tonight and I have a meeting tonight. <laughs> I'm busy in this time of year. So what we're doing now is adding two teaspoons of vanilla. Of course, I'm doubling it. I'm being very ambitious today. <laughs> we're gonna mix that in and then we're going to also add some salt. So the chocolate now has like lightened up with all the eggs. And so now what we're gonna do, we need another bowl. So we're gonna separate, you know what? We're not gonna do, I'm not gonna do another bowl. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it, you guys. I'm gonna go for it. So I'm gonna add in right now my um, baking powder, which I'm gonna need four tea or two teaspoons, because I'm not giving you the double recipe, two teaspoons. 
of the baking powder and I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of some salt. Seems silly to just go ahead and waste more bowls. Boom, let's get that mixed up and we'll start adding the flour. Okay, we're adding the flour. So I'm gonna just do one cup at a time and mix it in. You'll only need two cups. So most of this is going to be chocolatey. It's kind of reminiscent a little bit of a brownie recipe that I've made. So enjoy this, this is gonna be awesome. And so after I'm done putting in all of the flour that I need, we're gonna chill it. it is like an extra thick brownie recipe the consistency is quite thick and thank goodness my little hand mixer from KitchenAid hashtag KitchenAid rocks um did very well with this because I don't like bringing down the big machine and if you have one and by all means use it I'm just not a huge fan of taking it down all the time because I have it up and I just don't use it that often so it seems like a silly thing to have it on the counter okay so I gotta put this in the refrigerator for three hours. So we need to hurry up and get this going. And then I have something to tell you. So I just put it in the fridge. Now I need to clean up, but I wanted to tell you that I got a happy picture text today. I got this picture with a wonderful text saying that Isaiah um, is helping them do a musical number in church on the 22nd. Uh, so he's playing his bassoon, which he played for six years through middle school and high school, got very well at it. And when he graduated a couple years ago, he thought that was it. Now he's played it a couple of times, a few times actually, since he's graduated. And so the people in Pequoson, Virginia, found out that's where he's serving, that he could play bassoon. And of course, He's now being asked to uh, to play in the musical, the Christmas um, church service. So I thought that just made me so happy to see that picture. It almost made me tear up a little bit. I sent it right away to Paul. And I'm so glad that the people in Pequoson are taking good care of our Isaiah. Now, if you are looking for some place to go and hear beautiful Christmas music, I believe most of our church services on December 22nd will just be musical numbers. There, you can go to lighttheworld.org and there will say, uh, find a meeting house and you can find a place. Our church services are only one hour and it is a beautiful, beautiful service with lots of wonderful Christmas hymns. And um, it's just one of my favorites. So you can look and just put your area code or your zip code below in the box and you can find one, but they're mostly between nine 10:30 and 12 at different meeting houses around the United States. So, and probably around the whole world, I would imagine. So let's get this going. That's gonna be chilling for a few hours. I'm gonna clean up and then we'll see what happens in a few hours. Okay, so it's been about three hours. So right behind me, I have a bowl of, of just some um, powdered sugar. It says a half a cup but I kind of just put about a cup or so because I'm just gonna be moving things around and then that way I don't have to fidget with that. I have a couple of baking sheets ready to go. I even have a third one just in case because I need to hurry. And this is the purpose of having double ovens is to get this done. So let me go get the dough and I'm just gonna start rolling. Okay, so we're gonna get these going. And we're just gonna roll these out. It's a little on the stickier side. But we're just gonna get a couple in here and cover them in the sugar. Totally easy, you guys. It's just gonna be a little bit messy. <laughs> and then we're just gonna put them on and get them in the oven. I gotta hurry. I 
have my first batch ready to go into the oven. Um, it's gonna be nine to 11 minutes at 350 degrees. Look at these crinkles. They look so good. They're almost like brownie cookies. So the white uh, sugar, um, powdered sugar is gonna give it that crackly look. And um, I notice it's about nine minutes, 30 seconds. That's probably gonna be the best. Um, also, you're just kind of dropping it in the powdered sugar and then getting the roll on because it's really sticky. So putting it in the powdered sugar mix is gonna help you to get it rolled up quickly. Before I show you how they taste and all of that good stuff, I wanted to show you a little bit of what we were doing tonight. So I'm cutting out pretty quick here to a women's, um, uh, a women's church activity. It's a dinner and I just wanted to show you it. So enjoy. at all of these cookies. This recipe made so many and I was pretty generous in the sizing. So about 81, 82, can you believe it? So now it's time to try it. Oh yes. Mmm, these taste almost like little brownies. Oh yeah. These are going to make great gifts for the neighbors, for parties, for get togethers. I am going to put most of them into the freezer and pull them out as we need them to deliver, which will probably be a lot this weekend and next weekend. So you guys, these ones are good. I'm so glad that you watched this video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't clicked subscribe, I'd love to have you along. If this is a video that you liked, please hit the subscribe button. And wasn't that so fun tonight that I did with my friends and people from church? I am just so blessed. I feel so grateful for this season. So stick around. Tomorrow is cookie number two. And the recipe for this video will be in the description box below. Have a wonderful evening, rollers, and you know what's coming up next. Bye, everyone.